Over the past couple of weeks and days, we have received a lot of information in regards to Modern Warfare 3. The return of Vladimir Makarov, of course, Task Force 141, Philip Graves, everyone coming back for a last big hoorah. However, what you may not know is they are not the only people who are going to be returning. Now, I want to be clear, this is not 100% confirmed. It is a lot of speculation, but there is a lot to actually back this up. And if you could read the title, see the thumbnail, somehow it appears as though Roman Barkov is making a return, which makes literally zero sense because last time we saw Barkov, this is how things ended up. Shut your mouth. Let's see if dogs can fly. Captain, Barkov is dead. Roger that. Alex, charge is set. Now, you may know my rule over here on the channel. In Call of Duty, if you don't see a character die, they are probably not dead. And this time, we certainly do see Roman Barkov die. He gets pushed off of a plane and he falls to his death after he'd already been stabbed. He, he's dead. I, I don't think anyone could argue that he could somehow survive that. But here is the weird part. Yesterday, the voice actor for Roman Barkov came forward and stated that he is so excited about this one with a video of the trailer for Modern Warfare 3, something he wouldn't do unless he's a part of it. So what we're going to be doing today is going through the backstory of Roman Barkov and discussing how he most certainly is going to be involved in Modern Warfare 3. And let me tell you now, it's probably not in the way you're thinking. Now, just as a brief story on Roman Barkov and how he fits into the Modern Warfare universe, in 1999, he initiated an attack on Yurzikstan. And ever since then, he pushed his forces forward as Roman Barkov's forces to take over the area and take control, using gas attacks and various illegal war tactics to control the area. Now, it was at this time where Roman Barkov took Hadir and Farah as prisoners, prisoners of war, but not just that, as children, and held them for years and years. We see them be interrogated by Roman Barkov throughout this time while trying to put up a fight well behind bars. Needless to say, he is a very hated man within Yurzikstan. Now, by the end of the game, Farah ends up enacting her revenge on Roman Barkov, stabbing him, pushing him off an airplane, and him falling to his death. And at this point, you may be wondering, how the heck could he possibly be in a game that takes place after the fact? Well, the obvious fact is he can't, but he also still can. We have to look at some evidence from the original Modern Warfare 2019 to put this forward. In Modern Warfare 2019, in a mission called Clean House, you are invading a safe house for some Alcatala soldiers who planned the attack on Piccadilly Circus. When you go in there, you overhear them talking, and you specifically overhear them talking about ultranationalist forces that they are working with in the East. This will be the first, but absolutely not the last we hear of the ultranationalist forces. And if we go back even further to the original Modern Warfare trilogy, you might get a better explanation for this. You see, in the original Modern Warfare 2, there's a mission called Loose Ends where you go into one of Makarov's safe houses and plastered on the wall, he has news articles about all of the attacks that he has planned and taken out. And one of them is an attack on Piccadilly Circus, an attack that was never actually in the game. And the only time that we saw this was in Modern Warfare 2019. But specifically, this article states that Vladimir Makarov is taking responsibility for those attacks. Now, this hasn't been confirmed in this trilogy, but it's an interesting crossover as we see it nowhere else. So you may be wondering what this has to do with Barkov. Well, here comes the tie-in. First of all, if we have a close look at the logo for the Romans Barkov's forces, we see a snake head. And when we go and look at the logo for the Coney Ultranationalists, you see a very, very similar logo. Now, this is just one similarity, but we can dive a lot deeper into this. And in fact, I did three years ago. When Modern Warfare 2019 first came out, I made a video on exactly this, predicting what would happen. It's easier for me just to go back and show you what I had to say about it. 
So throughout the entire campaign of Modern Warfare, we can see approximately 20-ish years of Roman Barkov's reign as the apparent leader of Barkov's forces, which is a Russian army run by Roman Barkov. But here is the weird part of all of this, is if you actually look at what Roman Barkov is wearing, it actually doesn't look like he's the leader. If you first off look at the epaulets that he's wearing, they're for a colonel not a general. A general's epaulets generally have one big star in Russian armies, whereas the colonel has three like we're seeing here on Roman Barkov. But there's also another piece of evidence as to what he is wearing that gives us a big detail about Roman Barkov's background. It is the t-shirt that he wears underneath his coat. These type of t-shirts in Russia are known as telneshkas. Basically, this is what we're looking at here, kind of like a muscle shirt or a tank top that is worn underneath military garb but guess who they're known to be worn by something called the vdv in russia aka the russian airborne troops now who do we know who is a part of the russian airborne division oh that's right vladimir makarov so right there, we have a link as to how Roman Barkov and Vladimir Makarov could have met. So needless to say, three years ago, me was certainly onto something. However, now that we know that Barkov's actor has commented on this, it kind of tells us he's going to be in the next game, which means the only way he can do so is via flashbacks if they are giving us a backstory on Vladimir Makarov. So... Following what we know, this gives us two options. Number one, Vladimir Makarov worked within Barkov's forces underneath Barkov at some point throughout the story, going all the way back to 1999. This would make a lot of sense. Their ideals line up. So that would work. Or there is another option as well. This one, in my opinion, is far more interesting. If we follow through the story of the original Modern Warfare trilogy, that Vladimir Makarov was always kind of in charge, but behind the scenes. He was there for all of the big moments. And in fact, he pulled the trigger on almost all of those big moments, all to orchestrate World War III. Maybe rather Barkov wasn't in charge the whole time, but rather Vladimir Makarov was the man behind the scenes pulling the strings. But now that all of the majors and generals have fallen, he needs to come to the forefront to finish up his plan. In the original trilogy, that was the doing of the four horsemen. And once a bunch of the horsemen were taken out, he was put in the limelight to finish off his plan. And maybe, just maybe, the four horsemen are back, but those horsemen are different in these games. Rather, Imran Zakayev has been replaced with Roman Barkov. Now, this would also line up with some things that we saw within the trailer, because in that trailer, we saw an attack being carried out on what appears to be Verdant Stadium, something that's already been attacked in the past. But if in one of these flashbacks where you see the crossover between Barkov and Makarov, they then show that the person in charge on the raid in Verdansk was none other than Vladimir Makarov working alongside Barkov. It ties it all together and makes it so that Barkov's return pushes forth the story of not Barkov, but rather Makarov. So again, it is just a theory, but there are a lot of strings that could tie together with this theory, and it's one that I brought up three years ago. I think it might be even more at this point, but a long time ago, and it lines up with all of the characters in the game. So I'm guessing that's what we're going to see returning, and I have a lot more of these theories as to what's going to happen within Modern Warfare 3, and if you'd like to see them, you enjoy these type of videos, be sure to hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, have notifications on. We've got plenty more to come, so make sure you do so. And of course, let me know what you think of the theory down in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of Barkov returning. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars.